Jesus of the living God, the Savior, lives in us. And if the Savior lives in us, then we are so common to our world. Like Joseph, the place where your throne may be situated may not be in your father's house. It may not be in the country of your bed. Neither will it be in your continent. But it will definitely be where God has appointed you to be. So you should accept these challenges. You should be grateful to them. Because if not for the challenges you encounter, you will not be able to attain greater heights. You will not come to the throne. If you do not learn what it takes to be in need, how would you appreciate wealth when it comes? And how would you take care of the less privileged? If you don't know what it takes for you to fail, how would you appreciate success when it comes? And how would you inspire people? If you do not learn what it takes to be sick, how can you appreciate good health when it comes? Or how can you appreciate God? How would you know how to take care of the sick? If you don't know what it takes to be disappointed when you go through life, you find yourself being disappointed in life. If you don't know what it takes for you to be disappointed, how would you keep promises when you are finally blessed? If you don't know what it means to be called names, to be humiliated, how would you appreciate honor and glory when it comes? And how would you know how to help those that are humiliated in this world? If you don't know what it means to be hated, how would you appreciate life and the praises of people when you are finally loved and appreciated? With all this, you would agree with me that challenges is not our enemy, but friend, because all challenges does is to take us to our place of destiny. Our God is powerful and God can use challenges to direct us. He can use challenges to put us and make us sit up, to put us through, to place us on the right direction. If not for the challenges man is facing, if not for the challenges we are facing on daily basis, we would not ordinarily move closer to God. So if our challenges is making us pray the more, fast the more, and move closer to God the more in a powerful way that elevates our spiritual status, then tell me how these challenges is our enemy. How are these challenges our enemy? Because challenges is Satan. If Satan and what he does, his activities, make us to pray the more, fast the more, move closer to God the more, how is Satan our enemy? Because all Satan does through these challenges is geared towards the accomplishment of God's purpose in our life. It is geared towards achieving destiny. So challenges, Satan is also a potential instrument in the hands of God to build us. When you hear someone lying at you, when you hear people doing you bad, you hear people, you find yourself in a position where people say lie, where people persecute, you are the one growing. These challenges is what mature us as Christians. It reveals the character and the nature of those around us. Satan has never been in the position of growth. He is the instrument that God uses to build his people. 